What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you enjoyed the last video. All right guys, I told you that sometimes some of these things are just in the photo. In other words, the anomalies are right there, smack dab in your face, but because they're blended so well, you can't see it. Now this video is going to be quick because I'm going to show you this point blank. It's right there in your face, right? My good friend Neville Thompson had done another one of his pans and here it is right here. And you can see it right here, MSL 688. Uh, so basically what he do is he just took these here and he just put them all together for everyone and you can see that right there What we're looking at is right here in the background right there So a big thank you to Neville Thompson for doing this pan Always does a great job on these now. Let's go back there because I want you guys to see this I've always said that these Buttes are not really buttes right now some people will will argue the point that they are now I'm not saying there's no buttes in this photo I'm just saying a lot of them are being dressed up to look that way. Let me show you what I mean and I'm not going to have to do anything to this because he's already enhanced this a little bit to show it, you know, uh, what we've got here. You can see, look for the shapes. Again, shapes and lines are everything. You don't necessarily have to see the color of the item. What you need to do is look for the shapes that are sitting smack dab right in the screen, right? So I'm looking over here. Now, this one here, it seems like it's got some white in the top of this, so I'm not so sure about that. Because uh, it looks like there's something actually sticking out right here if you look real closely. See that? But that's not what got me. All right, we're going to pan over to this area. And as soon as I got over to this one, I was like, what is going on here? And you guys can see this for yourselves, right? Check this out. Look at the lines. Look at the objects that are sitting right here. Do you see the shape of that? Docker areas here, here. And when you enhance this properly, you can see these lines come out. It's, it's in the photo. Look at the shape of the object sitting right there. This is not a hill. This is actually structures or something. And they just didn't take the, the complete, uh, the outline of these objects out. Uh, but you can see that. Now I'm going to go ahead and sh jump into Photoshop and show you this. This is not going to be long, guys. This is pretty easy stuff. But nonetheless, like I said, sometimes just the simplest little things. And you can see it right here. Okay, this is the original photo. That big. And then we just, of course, we made it a lot larger. Okay. So, again, here it is. There it is, guys. Do a slight shop in there. You can see it. Look at the actual shapes. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and brighten up a little bit, see if we can't get it there. See if we can't bring it out. Okay, not too bad, a little overdone. And then all of a sudden, you just what I do is just dock in the lines. That's it, right? A little black and white, and then outline. Now, you guys can see this. Well, let's go with this one here. See, this is a little better. I'm just going to bounce back and forth. Just look at the shapes in here. Right, this area right here and over here. Just, I'm going to jo jockey back and forth in this and just have a look. Now, of course, I didn't get this completely sharp as far as the lines on these things, but you can see when you take a look at this, you can see the actual lines coming down here. They're very faint. Nonetheless, they're there. Right? And there's also other things over here. Here's the outline. There's something else here. You can see it very, very faintly, but it's this is not this is not just a hillside. There's something more to this. I believe these are foundations of structures. Now these here, you can't get anything out of it. I mean, it's hard to tell because you can see something right here. They had done something in this area on this particular one, but nothing there of any value. But these here, you can see that. Look at that. Just a shadowing alone right there. And you can see the lines, the outlines doing this. Now, if you were way back out here, you'd go, I don't see anything there. But I'm going to go in slowly. You guys, will you guys see it clearly? Like right about here, you guys can use your, your magnifying glass. Even doing this here, at this point, I can look at this and see that. Even with my mag glass right here, I can look at that. I can see that pretty darn clear. The shapes of these objects sitting on top of this hillside. Now, maybe it is a hill. Maybe something was there and came to rest there. Because everybody believes there's this huge flood, and then it washed everything all over the place, right? It just thrashed everything, threw it around. Tell me what you guys think. I'm going to go in a little bit more. Outline these here. Do it like that. Again, pause it where you guys want. There you go. There you go, guys. I mean, this stuff is right there in your face. Look, I don't have to do a thing to it. There it is. You guys be the judge. Tell me what you think is here, man. Uh, I just think, like I said, sometimes just the simplest little things, and that's all it takes. You know, they're there in the photo, 
and we just need to bring it out a little bit more. Because like I said, you're not going to see something that's going to pop out like dramatically from the rest of the uh, surrounding area if it's all the same color. This is the reason for all the red or the orangey pukey color because they want to blend everything. That's the reason why you got to look for the shapes and the outlines. That's where the answer is. Not so much the colors, but the actual shapes. And once you bring the shape out, you go, okay, clearly that's not natural. At least this doesn't look natural to me. You guys tell me what you think it is. Anyway, guys, have yourself a good day, and we'll see you in the next one.